Hi folks, my name is Ian. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dr. Muto. Let's return to the game. Back where I left off. Um, so I don't know what I did with the goo. I think I it said I uh, lowered the goo level. No, it touched me. There is some kind of... Some kind of splash damage. Can I go back? No, I have to reopen it. Okay, so that's what it closed. That's weird. So they have you go back. Even though it's before it's recycling, man. It's kinda weird. I don't like that though. I think games should not have any backtracking. Like if you want, like unless it's like an open world, but if you want like to go back to an area, I mean you should have the free will to do so. Otherwise, like, don't, don't force me to, like, just do some back and forth. Nice. Why would you do that? Um, why would you do that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Interesting speech. Um, that's weird because it waited for us to uh, exit the the mouse thingy place. There's probably a reason behind uh, behind it. Like most likely, when you enter this area, this zone here unloads from the game. So, you, so they would have to reload it to play the cinematic. But if they replayed it, uh, then it would like be slower because then they have to reload the other area when the cinematic cuts back i don't know just speculating here can i trigger those mines from afar doesn't seem like i can maybe being as a mouse would be smarter although i can just walk around there's nothing in the middle no isotopes all right i'll take it i guess yeah, there's nothing. What the are these things? Monkeys, Doctor. They contain DNA. Monkeys, eh? Crazy looking monkeys. I hate them. Especially the crazy looking kind. Alright. Um let me just check something with my microphone. So there are monkeys of the crazy looking kind. Those are ants. Just explode those ants before they hurt me. Because they want to hurt me, those guys. But I think they're neutral if you don't steal their DNA. I wonder if you can finish this game without any, uh, any DNA. Alright, gotta, gotta have a shot at those guys. Oh my, what is that? Is it gonna hurt me? Yeah, it tries to hurt me. Oh my god, this guy is not the... It's not the friendly place. So what's happening here? Oh, there's the blue thing. I need the checkpoint, yo. Give me that. Do I heal? It doesn't heal you. Just die. No, it doesn't. That's a bummer. Um, let's, let's take a last look. It's kind of uh, with the other guy. I'm just gonna kill him. All right. Oh, I missed. All right, come here. No, he saw me. And I got him. Gotcha. Shoot. So it's Al. It is Al. It's not Bob. Who's Bob? Why am I thinking of Bob? And I recognize that noise. Reminds me of something. I think it's just a sound effect that's been like 
overly used. Like the Willem scream or something. Alright. It's pretty neat. Oh man. <laughs> right when I die. What a way to jinx myself. Oh man. But it's pretty neat because they make you through go through the the area. And then they have you go upward onto like a second layer of the area it's like i really like the like the design of the areas the human areas the mouse areas are a little linear i think can i yes double hit like it's really nice looking really gives you a good view of the landscape. Okay. Oh my, uh... I think I'm hungry. I'm, my stomach is gargling. Alright. So there's a bunch of stuff going up, going on here. There's the ants. Like, when it's chaotic, it's very chaotic, this game. And it's not like I can spam the, at the attack super fast. Like, this is the quickest. And sometimes, like, it's, it's irregular. Like, it's in a cycle of three or something. What are their body made of? The spider thing. It's not a spider because it's got four feet, four legs. What? What are you doing? Like, look at its body. It's got like fluid. What is that, man? It's so weird looking. Huh. So fascinating. Somebody created that. It's interesting to think about, I think. It wants to hurt me. Oh, there was a message. Oh, it's Al. Should I listen to those Al thingy? Oh, I need a blue, a blue guy. Break all those box. So satisfying to break destructibles. It's always satisfying. So where's the blue? Okay, there's a turret or something. Not the red bubbly. I feel like I remember this area. Like, it's déjà vu. Uh, oh, it's to spawn this guy. It's kind of weird because they just pan the camera to him. And it's like, why are you showing him to me? It's not clear. It's, um... But they're showing it to you because it's just spawned, but there's no spawn animation, so it's not obvious. Okay, so this is the next area. Let's check this. Uh, let's check this out. This door in front of you lies the passage to the factory. It is run by Vinnie Dino of the Burn It All Cartel. Burn It All. I'm pretty sure this is a, bun, a pun that means like, burn it all. And it's run by Vinny Bino. Okay. So I guess this is the guy that was laughing in the uh, intro. The guy who was looking at his TV. Caution. Authorized operators only. Okay. I guess... I am one. I'm in Toltec's mainframe matrix of industrial burn machines. You know, these machines really stink. 
much as DOAs have direct control in this area, if we eliminate them, I could override this crane's controls. Uh, this reminds me of uh, Ratchet and Clank. The first one, and I think the third one as well, there are turret segments. I don't remember about the second one. Maybe there are as well. But yeah, this is what it reminds me of. It's gonna take a while, is it not? Oh no, it's already over. Okay. Game on. So I'm playing with the AI? So my... Okay, this is weird. Like, is he a... Uh, a... An independent individual? Like, even though he's an AI? Or is he an AI? Like, is he just a butler that's far away or something don't know if you know what I mean like just a hired guy that like, appears on screen on demand but still exists in the physical world I did not even listen what he said sorry Al It's B for burn it all industry. It's gonna burn it all. Does it hurt? No, just smoke. Just smoke. Let's take a look again at this. So the factory, it's the next area. So what does the total looks like in uh, this place here? Total tech. Yikes! I missed a bunch of stuff. I'm missing two DNA, a hundred isotopes, one firework. So target practice. Use the pocket rocket gadget to shoot the grain towers. The pocket rocket. Okay, so I don't have it yet. Still need to find one. I guess it's gonna Uber powder. Yeah, I guess it's gonna unlock the pocket rocket. If I find the last firework thing. Mine sweeper. Find a way to clear out the mine field under the goo lake. Gummer. Okay. Yeah, that's what the the blue guys are called. What did I call them? Goobler. Gummer. Yeah, it's similar. Gummer overload. Use a gummer to complete the circuit and power the crane. Okay. Let's take a look at this. So I need the Goobler, I need to figure out how to trigger the mines. Can I shoot them with the... I can't go back in the... Can I? Yeah, I can't. So this doesn't work. I throw... A barrel, this seems to work. And there's the circuit. But I know I don't know where. Where's the circuit thing that I have to activate with the Gomer? Let's go down and try and figure out the mines. Can't pick up the barrels. And I'm pretty sure there's like enough mines. Why is there so much reds that keep spawning? What's going on? What's, what's going on? Huh? I totally forgot what I was saying. Like, I got fascinated by a... There's a rain of reds. <laughs> There's... Where is it coming from? Like, beyond the fence? Crap. And I, <laughs> there's an invisible wall. <laughs> okay, there's a seam. We can see the seam here where you can't walk. Right. 
I can grab this one. So how do I explode the mines without getting hurt? I can't grab the crates and only break them. It's the barrels that I can grab, but there's not... Doesn't seem to be an infinite an infinite amount of uh, barrels. Maybe with the Gomer. Yeah, this has to be it. Come here, buddy. Yes, there you go. Big brain. Big brain Muto. That was not uh, optimal, eh? Man, those guys, man, their life kind of sucks. <laughs> like, hey, okay, fair enough. I thought I missed, which I somewhat did. Oh, they respawn, do they? I gotta go fast. Come here. Dude, they respawn. The mines respawn. And the Goobler is impossible to aim with. It just flies up into the air. What the hell? This is stupid though. Just figuring out how to explode the mines, I mean, is not enough. Let's wait. Oh, dude. It's such a pain. I can't. Why do the mines respawn, dude? Why? Come on, just just come back already. Or do they not? Only those? That's even weirder. Like... Is it possible to do? Dude, come on. Is it? I feel like I'm playing crap here. Dude, where? Dude, I hope the game won't be like that. It's so stupid. Maybe I have to throw him so he bounces on the walls. I don't know, dude. No, it's too... It's too finicky. Like, why does he jump? The worst minigame. Not this way. Here, there's one here. Come on, quick, quick. Dude, I missed. Come on. No, there is. Why can I not hit the last one? Okay, oh, dude. Oh, it hurt me. So dumb. So stupid. Like, that was fun discovering how to break the mines. But like, playing this kind of minigame, that was annoying. That was very annoying. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna end the recording here. Just take a break. Maybe I'll record more later. Um... So let's save. It's a game. No. Oh, dude, come on! <laughs> I did not mean to return to lab. Hate that one. Save the game. Okay. Alright. Well, made some progress. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye bye.